the Prime Minister is not going to really impeach our confidence of the money for Shibana. But Shibana is on her farm and paying a ransom. Let her produce Shibana. She said it. Is it in well, order for my brother thank, thank you to right keep Donald. insinuating that I, I have the blood of Chibarama, I have what? When in actual sense, I'm not a security person, I'm in order. The leader of opposition in parliament, Matthias Simpuga, called the government's statement on human rights violations shallow and did not provide answers to the families whose loved ones have disappeared, been detained without trial, and who have been tortured. John Chibalama, a member of the National Unit Platform, disappeared in 2019 and his whereabouts are unknown. A day earlier, the opposition MPs had held a meeting with Deputy Speaker of Parliament, Thomas Tayewa, where they reportedly discussed the suspension of five opposition MPs on Tuesday. They also wanted a video showing evidence of their grievances to be played in Parliament and an apology from government for disrupting events organized by the opposition. Even when yesterday's presentation of audit reports by accountability committees, which are chaired by the opposition, was done in the absence after they walked out of Parliament. Today we have to sort out processes. Tomorrow we shall do PAC. Then Tuesday we shall do PAC Center so that all reports... I remember in the but the boycotts have not stopped Parliament from proceeding with business. On Thursday, Prime Minister Robin Anabanja and the Deputy Speaker of Parliament Thomas Tayewa disagreed over how business would be conducted in the absence of the opposition MPs. We shouldn't be having winners and losers in the House. We, we should try to tolerate each other. And, and especially the language we use will help us to tolerate each other. However much you tolerate, for them they have a mission. Their mission is to corrupt the government. And we cannot allow. So let us continue, members. Government Chief Whip Amson Oboa says business has continued even with the walkouts. Wednesday and Thursday, we, we proceeded with business. I believe that um, we will miss them because we need them also to provide um, alternative policy. But now that they are not there, I think the business of parliament, just like you have seen, has proceeded. Joel Senyonyi is the chairperson of the Committee on Commissions, Statutory Authorities and State Enterprises. I chose to do it that way. I think he was saying, okay, now these guys, they have gotten out, so now I'm annoyed. Let me pick whoever I want to table the reports, you know. Uh, but that's okay. After all, we had already done the work. So if somebody just reads the work that we had done already, that's okay, ultimately. The reports were tabled and uh, we've been able to, to do some work. I hope that, you know, our recommendations will be acted upon. You know, that's the challenge usually. That you... Sirajin Sanja, a political science lecturer and governance expert, God Batum say the absence of opposition may not have that great of an impact on business in the House. That parliament literally has no power. So the theatrics that we see there, whether by the NRM MPs, or by the opposition MPs are, are inevitable because when you have a, an institution that is dysfunctional, normally they, they, they deal with, this, with, this, with, this, with the footnotes of the issues. A balance and uh, we need a, uh, we need a balance within the house. To get the balance within the house, you need members from both sides to be present to give the other side of the opinion. Out of the 557 members of parliament, 109 are from the opposition. Tumshabe says this should not stop them from demanding what is right for Ugandans. The fact that the MPs, the opposition MPs are able to put a spotlight on this, I think that those are some of the small contributions that they can make. Uh, but on a broader, broader strategic perspective, that parliament is not helpful to us as, in, as ordinary Ugandans because it's it's, it has surrendered its power. After the State Minister for Internal Affairs, General David Mohosi, told Parliament that they had already made an explanation, Tayewa gave government 30 days to provide a detailed response. The opposition MPs say they will continue to demand for action. So standing out of, of Parliament is one of, the, one, of, one of the avenues we have, but as well we have, we have capacity to insist within the House that proceedings could, should not continue without giving time and, uh, to deliberate on matters of human rights. This is what, what we are insisting on. Even us, we don't desire to just keep walking out. We are saying 
let's address these critical issues. People being abducted and disappeared. Four years plus. Jumakiria, NTV.